let's talk about hypothesis testing for a population correlation coefficient. So this will be the hypothesis that we're going to use for the left tail test, the right tail test, and the two tail test. And you're going to use the left tail test if the alternative hypothesis is a less than symbol, the right tail test if your alternative hypothesis is greater than, and two tail test if the alternative hypothesis is not equal. So again, this is the hypothesis for the left, left tail test. So the HO rho is greater than or equal to zero. It means there is no significant negative correlation. The HA rho is less than zero, meaning there is a significant negative correlation. The right tail test means HO rho is less than or equal to zero. It means there is no significant positive correlation. And the HA rho is greater than zero. It means there is a significant positive correlation. Now for the two-tailed test, the HO rho is equal to zero. It means there is no significant correlation. And the HA rho is not equal to zero. It means there is a significant correlation. Now, a t-test can be used to test whether the correlation between two variables is significant. So the test statistic is R. The standardized statistic is given by this equation, where N is the number of pairs of data, and the degree of freedom is N minus 2. So the R, this is the computed R in the correlation coefficient. Okay. So this is how we're going to do the hypothesis testing for the correlation coefficient. So first, you're going to identify your null and the alternative hypothesis. Next is we need to identify the alpha level. So the most commonly used alpha level are 0 0.10, 0 0.05, and 0 0.01. Now, next, we need to identify the degree of freedom. So the degree of freedom is n minus 2. So we're going to use the t-distribution table to determine the critical values and the rejection region. Then we're going to find the standardized test statistics using this equation. And after that, we're going to make a decision whether to reject or to or fail to reject the null hypothesis. So this will be the decision rule. So if T is in the rejection region, so if the computed test statistic is in the rejection region, then we're going to reject the null hypothesis, otherwise fail to reject the null hypothesis. And then after that, we're going to interpret the decision in the context of the original claim. Now, so let us have this example. So let us use the previous example. So this is the table of our previous example. So this is about the number of ads and the number of sales. So we have one, two, three, four, five pairs of data. And the computed R for this is 0 0.99. So it means it has a strong positive linear correlation. So now we are asked to test the significance of this correlation, of this correlation coefficient using a, an alpha of 0 0.05. So we are asked to find the significance of this correlation coefficient R. So this will be a two-tailed test. So the, the hypothesis for the two tail tests are the following. So HO, so rho is equal to zero, meaning there is no correlation. The HA rho is not equal to zero, meaning there is a significant correlation. Now, so the degree of freedom will be N minus two. So the N is five minus two, so the degree of freedom will be three. And the alpha is 0 0.05. So we're going to use the T distribution table for this. So are we going to use the the distribution table. So if the symbol used in HA is less than or greater than, you're going to look at the one tail and these are its alpha or the level of significance. Now, if the symbol used in HA is not equal to, we're going to look at the row of the two tails for our alpha. Now, so the Symbol used for HA is not equal to, so meaning we're going to look at the two tails, at the 0 0.05 in two tails. So this is the 0 0.05 in two tails. And then the degree of freedom is three, so we're going to look at the degree of freedom three. Now, this will be our critical value. So since this is two-tailed, this will be positive, negative. So the critical values 
RT equals positive negative 3.182. Now, if your, if your HA is less than, this will be negative. If your HA is greater than, this will be positive. Okay, so let us now draw the normal curve. So the critical values are negative 3.182, so that is somewhere here, and positive 3.182, that is somewhere here. So this to the left of zero or to the left of negative 3.182 will be the rejection region, as well as to the right of 3.182 is also the rejection region, and this will be our acceptance region. So the decision rule, if T is in the rejection region, then we're going to reject HO, otherwise fail to reject HO. So if the computed T is greater than or equal to positive 3.182 or less than or equal to negative 3.182, we're going to reject the Wernal hypothesis and we're going to accept the alternative hypothesis. Now, let us compute for the T. So the, our R is 0 0.99. So 1 minus 0 0.99 squared over 5 minus 2. So T is equal to 12.155. So 12.155 is greater than 3.182. So this means that 12.155 is in the rejection region. So meaning we're going to reject the null hypothesis and we're going to accept our alternative hypothesis. So what does the alternative hypothesis mean? So it means there is a significant correlation. So therefore, there is enough evidence at 5% level of significance to conclude that there is a significant linear correlation between the number of advertisements aired per week and the number of sales. Thank you.